All right. Uh, so the first one's when you see the check mark uh, on the tab, that means it's done loading. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and load up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up five pages, so we have plenty of data to look at. There's the third one. Okay, so um, I loaded up four pages. Uh, the first two are done now. So um, this is what OAX ray looks like. Um, now this is all the raw data and uh, I've put in some uh, specific ranks that I want to sort it by. So I only want to get at least 50% ROI, but I don't want to miss something that's maybe 49.5%. So I, I, I always set mine to 45 and I want to stay under 100 um, 100,000 rank. Um, and also you can set um, a net profit uh, and you can add in discounts and per unit fees and a per pound fee uh, if you wish. Uh, we don't do that, uh, but maybe if you're going to a fulfillment center or you know a prep company um, and it costs an extra dollar, uh, you might want to put a dollar in there and then that'll add it into the cost for you. Um, so now uh, there's a few other options here. You can export um, the whole thing to um, a CSV um, spreadsheet, or uh, you can only look at positive ROI, which is going to show everything. If it's a 0.1% uh, ROI, it's, it will still show it, or no matches, things that aren't available on Amazon, or you click here to show all the listings again. Uh, but if you want to use uh, the data that you've entered here, you click on my buys and now this is going to show you everything on the page without having to you know go back and forth to scan power or, uh, whatever other tool you may use to uh, to pull the data um, this is going to show you everything with uh, under 100,000 rank over 45 percent ROI and uh, now I've sorted it by the uh, the highest ROI now these ridiculous ROIs are obviously um, multi packs so uh, if you see something as a multi-pack, you can just change it in the quantity, and that's just going to change all your data. So now it's a six-pack. Uh, the rank, of course, is the same, but uh, it has a 29.51% ROI. Um, the num number 10 can of butter milk biscuit mix, it's 116% ROI. Um, but the sales rank, uh, the sales rank is 43,000 um, with uh, $8.08 .08 net profit. And here is your ASIN. Um, it's not in the grocery category. It's in the basically the uncategorized one, miscellaneous. Um, and it weighs three and a half pounds. Um, and this is the Amazon fees. Uh, now over here you can, um, you can look the, all this data up in Keepa or uh, Camel, Camel, Camel or loaded in Scan Power. Um, but if you come over here um, and you hover over this, this is going to compare the pictures for you. So this is pulling the picture from Amazon um, on the left and Walmart on the right. Uh, so you can compare them and decide. Um, now, of course, Walmart probably has a newer picture, um, you know, of an update, uh, updated product. So you can decide if you know, if it doesn't match at all or if, uh, you know, it's something that you want to buy. And if you hover over the Amazon, um, this is going to show you uh, the Keeper graph. Uh, so you don't have to go all the way to keep and look it up. Uh, it's going to show you all that data. Um, now it looks like all this Augustine Farm uh, emergency food, um, they've recently updated their photo for their 40th anniversary. Uh, so you can decide if that's something you might not want to send into Amazon. Um, uh, so here's what looks like a, a good product. It does say eight count, uh, but that's not an eight pack. Uh, you're paying $8.45 at Walmart, um, selling for $21.95 um, at Amazon. 
Uh, so you're getting a 57,000 sales rank and a 73% ROI. Um, and it only weighs about a dollar uh, seventy-five. So, uh, you know, if that's something within your range, you, um, I guess, you have a, a new product to go buy. Um, and uh, you know, it's just going to keep going down because we sorted uh, by ROI, um, and you can hover over. Um, now you'll see that a lot of pictures may not look the same um, because the one on the left is stretched out. It's not exactly the same label. Um, but, you know, to fit in the space, uh, the Amazon uh, pictures are stretched out quite a bit. Um, and of course, the Sweet and Low, um, which is also three packs, so it's definitely not going to be worth, oh, it already got, somebody else had already changed that quantity to a three pack. And if it doesn't match, you know, if you get a video game in one and a food product in another, you can always click on this mismatch uh, and uh, their assistants will are constantly going through and uh, updating and fixing listings um, for people that click on the mix ma mismatch button uh, to fix it for you. Um, so now these two um, do match. It only has a 48% ROI, but 27,000 rank. Um, of course, it's in miscellaneous, which may not be as good as what's in grocery. Um, Uh, so, you know, that's um, basically the lowdown of, of uh, using this main page. Um, Uh, now, when you see, um, you know, I'm always literally when I see a rank like this. Now, I know this product from past, uh, you know, when you see all the other ones are ranked, you know, 30 or 50 or 60 or 80,000, all these number 10 cans of, um, of different mixes, and this one's ranked 168, um, you know that something is up. So, you know, this obviously is a subcategory. Um, uh, I'm sure we'll find if we click over to the Amazon listing. Um, and as you can see, it has no cat main category listing. It's a subcategory of a subcategory of a subcategory. Um, but, you know, based on all the other similar ones, um, it's probably somewhere between 30 and 60,000 uh, in, in, in the rank. Um, you know, so you're almost you know, tripling your money, at least doubling your money after, um, you know, paying shipping on four and a half pounds. Um, now, see, this is a product that uh, does not match. One is the triple chunk and one's the original. So I would just click on the checkbox and uh, move on. And maybe the next time it, it pops up, it'll, um, um, they might be able to fix it. Um, this, of course, is an exact match. It's uh, a single box, um, and at Walmart, it's two dollars and eighty-four cents, and so you're getting ninety-three percent ROI with a pound of shipping, which is only going to be twenty to fifty cents. Um, now, um, you know, here's another good example of, um, you know, this is showing you all the products that. Uh, these items would be available at. So as you can see, at the top, there's Walmart, Target, Kmart, and Jet. Uh, so these ROIs is going to show you the ROI, um, you know, for the sourcing the product at the best of what's available. So even though we went to Walmart, uh, Target might have a better price, or Kmart. Uh, in this case, it's still Walmart, but, you know, it could have only been a dollar at, um, at, at Kmart, for example. So um, it's going to show you that ROI, and it's going to show you, you know, some of the hot toys, you know, there's six or eight different stores that are popping up selling uh, the same toy, and you can look at it all, um, you know, on, on one line and show you what, what is the best uh, prices to get it at. Now, right now, a lot of them might be sold out, but uh, at least you have all that pricing information. You know all the stores to look at. If you're doing retail arbitrage, you can be going 
to look for those items, you know, at Walmart and Toys R Us and, and Target and Kmart or, you know, whatever stores are carrying that, uh, that specific product. Um, and you don't have to go to all those sites and look for them. You have all the data, you have all the pricing all in one place. So, uh, you know, this tool uh, just saves you uh, a ton of time. Um, here we go. As you can see, this is the exact same product, uh, but like I said, it's been, uh, you know, stretched and compressed to, uh, to show, um, to get it to fit um, correctly. Um, you know, and it's uh, 80,000 rank, 76% uh, uh, ROI, and, um, you know, here we go. We see, uh, now with Walmart, you're going to see the same stuff coming up over and over because, um, you know, if you look on the Walmart site, um, you know, at the bottom of every page, um, it's going to be showing you best-selling items. Sorry. Okay, Valerie, are you there? Or no? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Are you able to see the chat? Because I can't see the chat when I'm in. Yeah. Um, so I've been answering um, some of them um, with, like, we had a question about ROI, our standard ROI of 100K and 50%. Um, so I, I, I answered that, and I was starting to answer um, – Carol asked, why do only subcategories sub show up on some listings? Um, so I don't know if you want to just go ahead and answer that now. Um, sure. um, and then we have, we have one other question, so whenever you're finished with that one. Yeah, so uh, subcategories are, um, you know, I really don't know the answer to that. Um, you know, it's, it's sometimes the way it gets listed. It's the way that Amazon does it. Sometimes they don't want a main category um, rank. Sometimes they don't provide a rank at all for certain products. So, you know, it has nothing to do with OAX ray. Uh, every time you see something in, in a subcategory, it's because the main category, um, uh, you know, is probably not there. So as you can see, we click through to Amazon and we seen there was no main category. Uh, so, just like scan power or um, you know virtually any tool uh, where they're accessing the API uh, they can only give you the data that Amazon's providing to them so um, you know uh, the only real answer might be that you know it's that way because that's uh, how Amazon wants to do it um, but you know everything should have a main category you know maybe somebody you know, I, I don't even know how to uh, how to do that because it would be uh, home improvement. You know, there's some things that don't have a main category, um, you know, that are just, uh, you know, under the main category. So uh, Amazon um, just, I guess, puts the stuff wherever they want to, um, you know, because there's no real reason when, you know, there's 20 more items from the same manufacturer and they're all, you know, number 10 cans of, um, you know, uh, baking mixes, um, but one of them, you know, is listed, you know, four levels deep into a subcategory and everything else is in home improvement or grocery. Um, you know, it really doesn't make sense. You could open a case and they'd probably move it, um, you know, to correct it, but I mean, if you're not even selling it, it might not be worth the trouble. Um, but, uh, you know, we're just lucky to have rank. Uh, Amazon doesn't have to show that rank. And at any time they could take that, take that away from us and we're still going to have to figure out how to sell sex. So, um, you know, we need to, in certain cases, we just got to look and see what, what else is available. Um, you know, uh, the data we have at hand, which would be, you know, looking at reviews, looking at some more items and seeing how well they sell. Well, um, you know, just looking at these few pages on OAX Ray, we can see that uh, they're selling, you know, in the range of 30 to, you know, 50 percent, uh, sorry, 30 to 50,000 in rank. Uh, so, you know, we can assume that that item would be somewhere uh, in that same rank as well. 
Awesome. Um, I hope that answered Carol's question. And then, um, and then we have. I guess Lauren wanted to know um, who chooses what stores are listed. Um, you know, so what they're doing is they're pulling data uh, from the Amazon API, and they're also pulling data from. Um, uh, they're scraping what's called, uh, you know, scraping the website. So they're pulling all that data off of the pages. So it has to be in a certain format and, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work and every time uh, a website's uh, pages are updated, then they have to go back and reprogram the way it pulls all the data out. So, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of work involved in keeping uh, this tool going. So they're adding uh, new sites all the time. They, uh, they actually added a couple of uh, added a couple of new sites today. I don't see them on the list, um, but one was uh, Fat Brain Toys. I know, um, and I've never actually even been to this site. Um, and Joanne Fabrics uh, was recently added. I think uh, within the last week. Um, and. I don't remember, but uh, they're constantly adding new tools. Um, and, um, I hope that answered uh, your question. Of course, it's not me that's uh, choosing these. Um, as they can, they're, they're adding more and more sites. And of course, they will take uh, suggestions uh, uh, for sites. Um, you know, I think it's pretty amazing that they can do Amazon and eBay. Of course, it has to have a UPC. Um, and it has to have uh, for eBay, um, and you have to do um, new items only. Um, is what is what they say. Of course, I'm not doing a lot of sourcing on eBay, but I know a lot of people who are, and uh, I'm sure this tool could help out quite a bit because there's just so much stuff, you know, unsorted and uncategorized on eBay um, and Amazon as well. You know, it, it works backwards. You go to Amazon and you look for something and then it's going to show you all the sites that have those items available so you can uh, you know look for something you want to sell and then it's going to tell you uh, what stores to go buy it from um, and what about updates um, yeah Ken wanted to know how often OA x-ray I assume uh, updates the data um, I believe they uh, they updated um, you know at least every day and that's how often most um, most of these tools are updating it. Um, I would assume it's based on how popular it is, just as Keepa uh, does it. So, um, you know, uh, I, I can um, I can ask them to actually ask that question before, but um, you know, uh, I've never really had a problem with the data being you know too far out of date. It could be either be going up or going down. Um, you know, a little bit because every hour uh, the um, sales ranks are, are changing, uh, at least. So, um, you know, over the course of a day, of course, they could go up or go down, but, you know, it's going to be in that general vicinity. And, um, you know, I've never really had an issue where, you know, the data being six hours old uh, has, has really been a problem. Um, you know, of course, they can't update everything live. You know, there's... You know, Walmart ha alone has millions of listings uh, that they have to keep track of, you know, multiplied by all these sites and, and compared to Amazon. So, uh, you know, I've never really had a problem, um, uh, and they're doing it similar to the way other tools are doing it. So, um, you know, I, you know, of course, there's some little glitches to this tool, but, you know, really what, what they've been able to accomplish is... Um, and works really well for our business. Yeah, I think everybody would uh, on the team would agree with that. Um, I, I've trained everybody. Um, literally every person who works for me knows how to use X-ray, OA X-ray, and um, you know they are using it uh, for sourcing at least an hour or two a day. Um, uh, every single person who works for me uh, is using it. So. Um, you know, it's it's really one of the the best tools out there. You know, uh, you know, everybody. If you're doing online sourcing, you know, you need a tool like X-ray. There's really no other tool 
uh, like this. Um, but of course, we have other tools that, that do other things for sourcing because we don't just do online sourcing and we don't source at only these stores. Um, yeah, and somebody, I guess, privately wanted to know um, who is behind OAX Rex. So I'm assuming who, um, who the creators are. Um, yeah, and that's, um, and it's no secret, of course. Uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm not a representative of the company. I'm just somebody who uses it a lot. Um, you know, I get paid, of course, when people sign up. I'm an affiliate of theirs. Um, you know, but I hope what I'm giving back to my affiliates are, you know, I'm the only, I, I'm the only one I know of the affiliates that's actually, um, you know, doing anything after people sign up, you know, so we have a private group and we have all the other stuff I talked about. Um, but uh, Todd Norton Hence um, uh, is um, one of the two people who, uh, who created it. So he's in my Facebook group. You know, I believe he's in my grocery group. Uh, you know, he's an Amazon seller, and uh, there was a need for something, and they filled that need. Just like Chris Green, you know, found a need for a tool to print labels as they go and create a scan power. Um, you know, he had a need for, uh, you know, help with sourcing, and, uh, and he filled that need. Um, and uh, the other person who, um, um, who started it is uh, Tedrick um, Polk. Uh, of course, they're pretty active in all the Facebook groups. Uh, you know, it's not something where people are hiding uh, behind, of course. Uh, they're both Amazon sellers, and they both sell quite a bit. So, um, you know, they don't, I don't know of any, uh, anyone that gets any special pricing. They gave me a, uh, you know, double the... Uh, trial period they usually only have three um, so they have six uh, a six day trial um, you know it, it's done through a subscription for PayPal I believe so uh, you know if you don't want to do it you can either tell them and they'll cancel it or you know just go on PayPal and uh, cancel your subscription um, and I think um, just from you know my my point of view I think that even and with that six-day trial, if you use it and, and you know, take the, the notes that we're giving you, you're going to know within that time whether or not it's, it's something you're going to benefit from or not. So um, it may not seem like a very long time, but you'll know right away. Yeah, I mean, either, uh, you know, you can use it or you can't. Um, right. So um, I don't know if there's any uh, other questions or anything else uh, you want me to cover. Um, and I can show you some more, but it's, you know, basically more of the same. It's, it's taking everything on that page that could take, I mean, how long would it take you to go through all of these listings and compare them to Amazon and see which ones are worth selling, uh, figuring out the sales rank and, and all that information. And, you know, you can do it all, uh, you know, in a minute. Um, You know, I, I see this one. This one's already marked as a mismatch because it doesn't match, which is probably something that I did. Um, nine. Uh, and as you can see here, once you change it from a three pack to a nine pack, now it's you know a negative thirty four percent ROI. Um, you know, Pam. Uh, this is always all the Pams are great ROIs. But uh, you have to be approved in hazmat. And even if you are, there's some rules, aerosol, some they'll allow, some they won't. Uh, so, you know, it may still not be worth it. Um, you know, here's a nice looking one. Um, the, the two pack, it's already marked as a two pack. As selling two, you get a 90.47% ROI, rank 63,000. Um, you know, so that's selling several, uh, several of them a week. Uh, right now, it's probably even faster because people are buying groceries like crazy. Uh, you pay, you know, six dollars and thirty-two cents, and it's selling for nineteen dollars and thirty-five cents. So you're almost doubling your money. Um, Hershey syrup, um, you know, seventy-five percent ROI, ranked one hundred thousand. You know, still selling a couple a week. Um, 
uh, sprinkles. Now, as okay, so this is probably I, I would assume that holiday sprinkles aren't ranked 82 uh, grocery. Um, as you can see, the rank has changed from 82 to 70, um, and you can see these are both subcategories. Um, you know, but it's a good example of what I was speaking of because at Walmart, uh, it's well, this may not match, but um, no, well, it doesn't match. The label is a little different, uh, but it doesn't matter. Um, at Joanne Fabrics, uh, see there was a listing for Joanne Fabrics on this page, so we have the Joanne Fabrics column, but it's only two forty nine here and six seventy. 676 uh, when you're buying it from Walmart. So it's showing you the better ROI, um, even though you searched at Walmart and it pulled up a list from Walmart, it's also showing you a better price at another store that who would have ever thought to go look at Joanne Fabric um, to find sprinkles. Uh, but you know, you found a price that's about two and a half times less. Um, corn with parsley flakes you know they're selling a jet for um you know almost a dollar fifty cheaper 54 percent roi you know another great list so, you know and every page um you know virtually every page you're going to find um items worth selling now if you start looking at big appliances and furniture obviously you're not going to find items that you can sell but if you're looking for if you're looking in the correct places, um, you know, almost every page has some uh, viable items that are worth buying. Uh, yeah, I mean, anybody who does this kind of thing, uh, tool. Um, you know, we do a lot of, um, uh, you know, sourcing in stores. So, you know, I, I look at it like a lot of people are, are lazy. Um, you know, they don't want to uh, go to a store and look for stuff. You know, you find something sold out. Now, if we were looking at Toys R Us and toys, I mean, there is just a ton of, uh, you know, stuff that's sold out in store. So if we go over to Toys R Us and start looking at all the, um, you know, all the hot items, we're going to see that, you know, a lot of them are, uh, are sold out. Um, now, I know I just found some Sonic items um, just yesterday that were uh, really hot sellers. So, of course, we want to get the most we can on a page. Um, so, they all fit on one page. We click the button, and it's going to load all the information. Now, if we were looking, see, before on Walmart, I was looking for just anything, but you know, you can search for a certain brand, you can search for anything. Anything you can search for in the store is gonna bring that up in OAX ray. So if you wanted to find any specific anything, um, you know, this is showing you all the toys, all the games. So, you know, if we go over to OAX ray, now you can't do any of the sorting until um, the page is loaded, but it'll show you your buys, but it won't load anymore just if you're going to use it, you'd have to go back to show all listings and then my buys again. Um, but as you can see there, um, okay, so we're fully loaded. We'll go back to all buys and it's showing all of these. Now, if we sort by ROI, um, the Sonic three inch figure, see 498 at Toys R Us, this is the same product. Of course, Toys R Us just isn't showing the packaging. Um, so if we go over to here, I believe, see, this is, this is sold out. And, sorry about that. Um, so as you can see, it's out of stock, but you know, there's still something to go to a store and look for. So if you're already sourcing, um, uh, if you're already sourcing um, 
you know, if you're already going to Toys R Us, you know, make a list, make a spreadsheet, and add, you know, this product to your spreadsheet. Um, it was a clearance item. It might be a clearance item in the store. Um, so as you can see, they got it at Walmart too, but it's it's thirty dollars. Uh, it's actually thirty nine ninety nine um, plus eight ninety five shipping. But the, uh, you know, obviously that's a third party seller. So Amazon probably had it for twenty nine ninety nine and then sold out. Um, you know, and here's another one. These were probably both on clearance, um, and I'm sure this is going to be sold out again at Toys R Us. Uh, so it was nine ninety nine. Um, it went to clearance for four ninety eight. Now it's sold out. So even at the nine ninety nine price, um, you know, well, you get a twenty six percent ROI at nine ninety nine. Um, you know, and it's the same thing over and over. Now we're looking at Toys R Us, but the best price in your one hundred thirty eight percent ROI with a thirteen hundred ranked item, and that is the main category rank. Uh, is only five ninety eight at Target. Um, see this shipping not available, order pickup not available um, at my store. Um, but it's showing all the stores in my location, and they're out of stock at all of those stores. But they might not be out of stock at your stores. And you know, as soon as you go over here, it's going to show you. You know, you can bring up however many it lets you, four pages. Uh, for me, click on, you know, you can click on show in store only and no stores in the item have it in stock. Um, you know, but who knows in your area, your area, they might have them in stock. Um, now, of course, the other one's not worth selling. And if you want to look for Shopkins, it's the same thing. Um, you know, the shopping cart is ranked 781 in toys. I know that's the regular, um, you know, toy rank. Everything Shopkins is selling like crazy. Um, you know, $10 at Toys R Us. Um, this is, they're saying it's an exclusive. Um, regular price is 15 um, and it's available for ship to home. So, um, as you can see, it is 908 right now. Um, back ordered for six more days um, and you're getting um, almost a hundred percent ROI um, and you know you're paying ten dollars and selling it for twenty five ninety nine and everybody should be going to Toys R Us and buy right now and buying all they can at the website. Um, but you know you're doubling your money and that you know anything shopkins is it's going going nuts right now. Um, you know, so if it's if it's out of stock, you just, you know, make a list to go into the store. I mean, we have a 15-page list of, you know, items to look for. Most of them, you know, are out of stock all the time. Um, but, uh, you know, that's just in toys. You know, Target and Walmart and, um, you know, Kmart, of course, not as big of a list. But all of those items are always... Uh, um, you know, we're always on the look lookout for them. So, um, you know, it doesn't matter what go store you go into. Of course, the aisles number change, but the the actual, um, you know, they always group all the things together. So, you know, I know that, um, you know, the Transformers are usually next to the, um, the Ninja Turtles. So we're going to look at all the Ninja Turtle stuff. We group it together in our list, and we're going to find that. And we know the, the Transformer stuff is going to be in the same area. So, you know, it's not just Walmart that we find the stuff. Um, as you can see here, almost everything on this page is, um, you know, even though it's not available online, you know, you just build up your own list of bolos that, you know, there's other people looking for, but it's not posted in a Facebook group with, you know, a thousand people looking for it. There's people that have already found it and they're out looking for it. Um, you know, and it's showing you 10 different stores, you know, grocery may only have a few uh, stores that it's showing you, but when you get into toys and items that are sold at multiple places, um, you know, as you can see, you know, this, this set that's $112 and sold out on Amazon right now. Well, I know everybody was looking for these 
uh, not long ago, ranked 611 in toys. Um, but as you can see here, there is, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different stores that are selling it, um, you know, at a 60% ROI. I mean, I'll take a 60% ROI all day on an item ranked 600. I mean, it's, they're selling literally hundreds of them a day. Um, you know, so, you know, to find, you know, to find and know about one 611 product, I mean, you're paying like $3 a day uh, for this tool and you can spend an hour in here. I mean, you know, along with all of my talking, you know, I've probably shared at least 20 items to go out and find, um, you know, just while talking about using this tool. So if you were sitting there and actually concentrating on finding as many deals as you can, I mean, how many could you find with just, um, you know, just a little bit of work? I mean, there's a really low barrier to entry. It's easy. You can try it for almost a week. And, um, you know, I just typed in Sonic and you see all the stuff that comes up. I mean, if, if we want to look for, uh, you know, Shopkins, probably every item on the list is under under a thousand in rank. And it's going to show us all the Shopkins on one page as soon as we change it to 96. So they have 67 listings. Almost all of them are on sale of some kind. Um, but while a lot of it might be sold out, it's, this is showing you every store that carries every one of these items. So they might be sold out online everywhere, but I'm pretty sure every one of these items is not sold out in every store. Um, you know, a lot of them, of course, aren't great ranks, of course. You have an item that's ranked four. Um, you know, you can be pretty sure that um, you know, there's plenty of people selling it, or it's ranked eight now. Um, but that could sell out at Amazon anytime. You know, a four ranked item is selling probably 500 or more a day on Amazon. Now we just look for Shopkins and we sorted it by. Um, you know, only showing the items that have a ROI of 50 or 45 percent or more, and you have three, six, 11 items, I think. Yeah, you have 11 different items that are uh, selling well. Some of these ranks are a lot higher than I expected. Um, but, uh, you know, you just have, uh, well, here's the shopping cart that we already found. Uh, this fashion boutique, um, you know, you're buying it for $15 and selling it for $37.75. And I'm sure um, by the time uh, by the time Christmas comes, this will be well over 50 bucks, and I'm sure the rank's going to be, uh, you know, a lot better. You can see, uh, you know, where the rank's been going. It was 120,000. Uh, it looks like there's a brand new product, so it just keeps going, going down and down. And there's only 18 people selling it right now, you know, because the other Shopkins items. Uh, well, yeah, I remember this just came out. This is a Lego, uh, their Lego ripoff. So the price just keeps going. Uh, um, the rank's just going to keep going down and down. You know, this will be ranked. Uh, at least under 10,000, you know, if they can get it all out in time. Um, I'm sure you're, you're just not seeing this out in all the stores yet. Um, as you can see, well, it's only listed on Toys R Us here. Um, and you can see the ones that have a good ROI aren't available at every store. If we click on show all listings, you know, all these items that, uh, that are available in every store have a negative 37% ROI. Um, because, you know, there's so many people sourcing it and driving the price down. Um, but you can easily, uh, you can easily weed all that out. And um, so, yeah, well, I've already been talking about this for an hour. It, it, you know, it, it's very easy to get lost in this tool. And, you know, 
I find it hard to believe that anybody, you know, couldn't find more product than, uh, you know, they have enough money to buy. Um, so does anybody have any questions before I wrap it up or want me to cover anything else? Doesn't look like it. Um, well, if you have any questions, um, you know, about using the tool, um, you know, just let me know or post in whatever group you've seen this in. Um, you know, I'd be happy to cover uh, any part of OAX Ray. Um, ah, okay, Sean, you're still here. Um, this tool costs uh, $99 a month. Um, you know, it's not cheap, but of course, uh, the amount of products you find uh, definitely are. Um, are, are definitely worth it. So um, you use my link. Um, you know, I have no way of knowing that you signed up, or even if you did sign up, you're going to be using PayPal. I won't know about it. So um, just contact me. Tell me what your PayPal name and your PayPal email is, and um, you know we'll verify it, and uh, I'll get you added to the group. I have some extra videos in there already, and I believe next week we're going to be doing a. Um, you know, a special uh, video helping people source uh, only for the people in that group. Um, you know, and we'll cover some other uh, things or, you know, I'll help you get going. I've, I've made some videos showing you how to set it up, uh, go step by step, uh, how to install it. So, um, you know, if you sign up, just uh, contact me immediately and I'll get you, uh, you can watch all those videos, you know, before you get going to, um, you know, lower any problems you might have. Um, how quick uh, How quick does it take the average full-time seller to pick up on how to use it effectively and efficiently? I know there can be many factors behind the user, just in general. I think it's very easy. Um, you know, uh, you've seen what, what I did. It's basically, um, you know, searching the same way uh, I would say don't even change the way that you're uh, looking for items or sourcing. Um, you know, if you're sourcing online, continue to do that, but just add this tool into it. So if you're looking for groceries or you're looking for toys and you're already going to uh, Toys R Us, then uh, do that, but use this tool. And it's just going, all it does is cut down your time uh, immensely of what you're going to be, uh, what you're going to be doing. So, um, you know, it's just a huge time saver. You know, I mean, how much time is 100 bucks a month worth to you? You know, um, that's what it comes down to. So uh, I think there's a low barrier to entry. I've made some videos that, um, you know, the videos that I put out are the same ones that I had all my employees watch. And they all said, you know, it made it extremely simple. So, you know, if you want to look at groceries, use this to look at groceries. If you're looking at toys or shoes, um, there's another tool that I didn't even uh, get to tonight that um, will show you all of the different variations. So, you know, if, if you like shoes or clothes, uh, this tool shows you, um, you know, you can click on the variation button that I sure, I'm sure you've seen up there, and it will show you every size and every, um, you know, color variation uh, for a style of shoes, for example. And it's going to put it all on one page, and you can uh, hover over it with your mouse, and it'll show you when Amazon was out of stock. And then you can just buy those variations uh, that Amazon, if they've been out of stock for six months, and the items rank, you know, 1500 that's definitely something you want to buy. So you only buy, you know, those variations, and it's, only, it's all on one page. You know, it could take you forever to, to research. Um, you know, one pair of shoes could have you know, a hundred different variations, you know, 10 different sizes and some I see 20, 25, you know, color or design combinations and it puts it all on one page and you can see when it was out of stock. Um, you know, it's self-explanatory. I have my videos, of course, that I've made, um, but they have about 15 videos showing you um, all the different things right on their, um, on their YouTube page as well, how to source it each uh, place, but as you can see, it's it's all you know straightforward and uh, you know very user friendly. 
we're still talking about OAX Ray. Um, OAX Ray will do what I was just speaking of as well, show you all the variations. Um, There's a question. Um, yeah. I don't know if you skipped over Lisa it. Mercy. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll show you how it works, Lisa. So, um, let me just go there. Just clicked on that. Um, just to make it easier, I'm going to go to the shoe place, Puma. Um, shoes, of course. for me for some reason. I can do it this way too. You can also go to oh, I wish this thing would sorry. My zoom gets right in the way. Um, yeah, so you gotta be on a search page. I went actually to the shoe page. Okay, so I clicked on the variant and it's loading up the variation analyzer here. So, um, as you can see, uh, this is all one listing on Amazon. Uh, they all have the exact same sales rank. Uh, so there's one listing with all the different variations. Now, uh, you can see the ones that Amazon has in stock um, and the ones that uh, obviously they don't have in stock. Um, now this one, uh, it's been out of stock since you know the beginning of the year, uh, maybe the end of last year. Um, so you know this is something that uh, you know may be worth uh, selling. Um, you know, and all of these that show zero, um, of course, if there's no keep uh, data available, um, you know you can't see that information. But it's putting all the shoes with all the um, um, all the child ASINs um, for each one uh, here available um, all on one page. Um, you know, so I'm not a big shoe guy, but, um, you know, I've used this for, um, for other things. And uh, as you can see, it's still just beginning to load the page. Um, so, um, you know, there's just a, a, another feature that's available. Of course, we're, you know, doing other categories. So, um, you know, the clothing and, um, and shoes are not um, 
you know, our biggest categories. You know, we um, we focus on beauty and uh, toys and, um, you know, things that don't have a lot of variations, um, you know, but there's something that's, uh, you know, definitely available. And if it's an item that's been sold out, you know, for a year, uh, you can probably uh, say it would be a safe bet that, um, uh, that it's going to be worth selling. So, um, you know, you can see here the picture uh, for Puma is not showing the variations, but obviously all these listings are, um, you know, are different shoes. They're not for, uh, you know, it's showing the exact same shoe. So, um, you know, that's just what the, the Puma site is showing, um, you know, and obviously they're different, uh, different colors. You can tell that the, um, you know, that it matches. It's a suede classic blue shoe, and, you know, that's what it's showing from Amazon. Um, you know, so this is going to just cut down all your information, and, you know, sometimes it's hard to pull an ASIN out of out of nowhere, um, you know, if uh, if you don't know how to get all the, the child, um, all the child's uh, ASINs um, for you. So, um you know, give it a shot. If you're a big shoe, shoe sourcer, this might um, might help you a lot. Um, you know, clothing and shoes uh, have a ton of variations. Um, you know, so if that's what uh, you can use, that's, you know, every feature in this tool uh, is probably not for everybody. It's definitely something that uh, we don't use a whole lot of. So, um, you know, just contact me. I can pass the questions on or um, you can contact, uh, you know, Todd yourself and um, you know, he can help you out and um, thanks everybody and let me know if I can help you with anything else. Thanks a lot. Bye. Ha! Yo, we talking about what? groceries on FBA. Ha! Yo, easy. Yeah. J to the O, the Mayos, groceries on FBA. <laughs>